this series of videos, I'll examine simple two-dimensional projectile problems. I'll talk about what they are, their parameters, and I'll solve several permutations. I'll do this by taking you through a series of four problems, starting with the simplest scenario and getting more complex and interesting as I progress. Let's begin. Projectile motion is the motion of an object launched near the surface of Earth. The object follows a curved path. To solve these problems, we will separate the motion into its x and y components. We will consider each one separately, although they are inextricably linked by time. It is necessary to understand the following. One, in the y direction, the acceleration is due to gravity and points straight down. Two, the effect of air resistance is negligible and can be ignored. Therefore, in the x direction, there is no acceleration and the x component of velocity remains constant along the projectile's path. Three, let's consider a situation where the projectile leaves the origin with an initial velocity of v naught and a launch angle of theta. The initial x and y components of velocity will be v naught x equals v naught cosine theta and v naught y equals v naught sine theta. Four, these are the equations of motion we will be using to solve the projectile problems. Number one is the displacement equation. Number two is the velocity equation. Three, we will call the no time equation. And four, we will call the no acceleration equation. Finally, it is important to note that these problems will be problems that have constant acceleration. In the following exercise, we'll solve problem one. It's a simple projectile problem in which the vertical displacement is zero and the launch angle and initial velocity are given. Please stay tuned. I will examine four typical quantities you may be asked to solve for. One, maximum height achieved by the projectile. Two, time in flight. Three, range. This is the distance between the origin and the point where the projectile hits the ground. Four, position and velocity at some time t. One, maximum height achieved by the projectile. This value can be obtained by using the fact that at the peak of its trajectory, the object's vertical velocity is zero. There are several ways to solve for this value. I will use the no time equation, v final squared equals v initial squared, plus 2a delta x, noting that at the peak of its trajectory, the v final squared is zero, v initial squared is v naught squared sine squared theta, and the acceleration is due to gravity is negative g. So we have zero equals v naught squared sine squared theta plus two times negative g times delta x. We are solving for delta x. I will subtract v naught squared sine squared theta from both sides of the equation and get v naught squared, negative v naught squared sine squared theta equals negative 2g delta x. Dividing through by negative 2g, I will get v naught squared sine squared theta over 2g equals delta x maximum height achieved by the projectile. 